Hi guys. Well, we have not stopped building our RV chicken coop. In fact, we're going to do a big chunk of it today, I hope. Uh, we would have come out with part four sooner, but Dad got a lovely fall cold. I'm about 60% right now, actually, but life doesn't get to stop. You know, <laughs> 2020, who knew, right? So anyways, I thought I'd talk to you a little bit. This chicken coop has been an interesting journey for us. We really don't know how to transition the chickens, so that's going to be part of our videos. Is uh, We're trying to figure out how to transition them to the new Jayco chicken coop. And, uh, well, anyways, I want to show you. We have, oh, oop, we've, we've lined it with kind of indoor-outdoor carpeting, and so we can wash it if we want to. Oh, you know what? They said to drill a couple holes in here. That's a good idea so water can drain. I need to do that. And uh, so we really didn't know what we were doing. We put it at a probably... Oh, I think it's about a 22 to 25 degree angle, and it seems to work really well. We took some old feed bags and sliced them up, just enough to give a little resistance to the eggs. We'll show you our test. We did some tests. We know it works. But uh, So if you look from the side, you can see how it's angled down. And theoretically, we can even tow this with this on. That's my theory. We might have to take our doors off. I'm not sure if I can anchor them down enough. But uh, we, we, we got the sides all put together. They're kind of in bad shape, but we're, we got some, that big tall metal, we're gonna strip it right down the side over both sides. And uh, yeah, so our goal today with Dad having a cold is to finish the chicken coop front, not the chicken coop front. <laughs> You can tell I'm not so clear. The roll out chicken nest boxes and then probably start sealing the outside. I'm gonna go through a little bit more detailed like sit down video. Maybe talk a little bit more about our RV chicken camp adventure. A uh, chicken camp, ha, <laughs> chicken <laughs> coop adventure. Yeah, I got a rooster behind me, one's out now. One out now? Nope, okay. Um, so anyways, I'm going to do a little bit better video where we sit down with me and Mom kind of talk about our experience with this and tell you kind of the costs and everything that we put into it so we'll be honest about it and uh, see if it's worth it. I don't know. What we did, we're already into it, so we can't stop. So now we're going to put some doors on and go over there. My theory is out, outdoors you can fly away from the outside edge is that we put hinges here and here and then we put a lip on the bottom but I don't know if I need enough room so I'm going to figure that out but and then we have our doors that will open up so that's my theory I'll see you at work so I guess first thing we got to do is get handles on I'm clumsy when I have colds. So. Well, actually, I'm clumsy most of the time. It's enhanced when I have colds. <laughs> so, so I think first thing I want to do is put the handle on. So I measure half the distance with the handle on. Oh no, it's too late. It's too late. Ah. All right, 22 and a half. <laughs> I'll put that right here. I'll put the handle right there. That's a good I'll tell you one little hint for shops. Well, first I'll try and keep it clean, but I'm not very good at that. I think I'm going to go with these two. Metal handles probably ain't the best in the winter, but it's kind of cool. We'll put it like that. Then I put the other one like that. Woohoo! Cool. Say something else. What? I paid four dollars for this at Goodwill. And I'll tell you, look at all the, look at all that. I mean, that's pretty cool. It's, I mean, you go to the store and buy one screw, you're paying fifty-nine cents. So here. 
I pay four dollars and you get tons of screws and bolts and nuts and, and, and this one has a whole bunch of these look like they're designed for door handles so I didn't, I didn't know that <laughs> that was a bonus so yay all right and I got plenty of brand new ones here for yeah brand new ones cool for the other handle so spend money when you get a chance to buy yourself bolts and nuts I know my dad always told me Don, you can never have too many bolts and nuts. I thought he was kind of nuts. Sorry, Dad. But uh, you're right. When you do projects around the house, having these around is good. It's a good thing. Woo! That means I gotta change my handle, doesn't it? So I just put that in the middle and mark it off. Kind of unofficial official, because my wife would probably like it to be square. But. I'm more of a, it's a chicken coop, so I'm not really stressing over it a hundred thousand percent. There we go. When you got a goal, puffs plus. Not paid by them, but I absolutely don't love them. You don't get a sore nose because they have that lovely little aloe on it. <clears throat> don't be cheap. Don't buy that crappy stuff that leaves your nose all red and painful. Don't be cheap. That's my that's my dad said. Don't be cheap. I mean, there, there are there are three things I don't go cheap on: tissues, toilet paper. Oh, and <laughs> well, if we don't have homemade strawberry jam, which I, we do, so I don't buy anymore. But if we don't have homemade, I buy Smucker because it's the closest thing to good tasting jam they have. So, but. Really, don't go cheap on toilet paper and tissues. It's just not worth it. And coffee. We're going to actually, got some exciting news. We're going to do some videos. We just bought some raw coffee. That's right. We're going to be doing coffee roasting on the farm. So we'll see how that goes. I'm excited to try that because I'm kind of a coffee junkie. You know, when you get old, I can see perfectly up close. I can't see far away. And sometimes when you get up close, you got to take your glasses off. And it just drives me nuts. I tried the bifocal thing. It didn't work for me. Now, if I hadn't bought that box of bolts and uh, uh eh, well, it's on. Anyway, <laughs> I guess I got this one going on in the door now. So, anyways, uh, if I hadn't bought all this, I would have had to probably spend another 10, 20 bucks on just getting some hardware and some bolts. So, I think I better measure it to get it somewhat centered. Okay, is that is it. How is this phone that sensitive? Oh! I tell y'all, working when you got a cold is like not fun. I know it's not the big C word. Not cold. Yeah, it's just a cold. Cold. Uh, you know. The new Chuckless Chucks. It's 
See, back in the day, we had these little keys that would tighten it really down really tight. It took more time. So the truckless truck makes it easy, but this is a truck if you didn't know. And I think it's a truck. Anyways, could be a Fred. I really don't know how they identify. But so anyways, in the new one, to put something in, you just hold it and then you put it in the other way and you put it in and you screw it down. Which is a great speed time, but it doesn't hold as well as I'd like them to. The old ones, when you really need to do some drilling, <laughs> I've got a couple old drills around here. Got the old metal keys. Trust me, if you need to do some serious drilling, don't use this. Go get yourself one of them nice powered ones with the chuck and tighten it down. You won't have to worry about it. That's old school, I know, but sometimes old school still works. I guess I didn't check, you didn't check them, but I thought they were standard in there. Well, that one goes through. That's silly. That's silly, silly, silly. I use these electric grills for about 90% of everything I do. Maybe 99% now, honestly. But when it comes to serious drilling, like you got drilling metal, or, and you need that bit to stay put, I strongly advise getting the old one out. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to dry fit the board, the door. You see I gave it about two and a half, three inches of overlap in roll insulation. Just to add for extra warmth and protection for the chicken. Right on about square and it's going to fill it a little bit. There you go. Now I know what the... In there. And, oh dear. That's not enough wood, is it? Alright, well that's good though. I needed to know that. So we'll, we'll do that and then we'll move. I think I might have to come down a quarter of an inch. You know, I, I'm a little too close to the top, but that's okay. Now, I got hinges galore. The question is, what kind of hinge do I want? I got fancy hinges, I got plain hinges. I think I'm probably going to go strong hinge, like an old door hinge, because old door hinges are strong. Lots of these hinges for like five bucks off Facebook. I think I'm going to go with these because, and this will go up on the metal like that and then it'll open up because that's my theory and we'll find out if i'm right i don't know i got the screw for me so Okay, so, as I said, theoretically, put this up in there, and bend those out. Uh, 
Well, that ain't gonna work, is it? So, you see, you learn. I love these hinges, but as I look at them now in this particular application, they're not gonna be effective. So, oh, back to the hinge board. Hey, we're back. All right, so in the last segment, you saw me put some hinges on that door. Come to find out the hinge design was not right. I like those hinges because they're kind of cool, but what I needed was a hinge that would come completely flat and those wouldn't, so they, were, they had a limited range. So sometimes, believe it or not, that type of hinge makes a difference. Hmm. It's a fun word, hinge. It's a fun word. It's a fun word. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna have mom drill that because I gotta hold this one in place. Come on, Ma. She's coming down with the bug dad head. Whoa. Um. I said, whoa. You went, you went, you went the opposite way, then whoa. So reverse. Hold that there for a second. Let me try it. Come on, hands, you can do it. I'd say that's why we got to do something here. Yeah. Um, oh, come on, brain. You got stuff in there. I know you do. Come on. You get out. Uh, <laughs> uh, what is it? A brain blast? <laughs> yeah. Thing, 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 thing. Brain fart. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, that's what happens in real life. Yeah. What if we flip it? Flip it? We put the hinges on the bottom. Then, no! Uh, hush now! It was just a talk. <laughs> Which means I can hit the floor at any time. Keep watching. <laughs> How'd you go viral? I fell. Uh, then you'd have to keep it up. No, I do it once. Everybody would want to wait and see you fall. <laughs> Well, they're still waiting, ha! Again and again, again and again. again. Every video. What? You don't communicate! How am I supposed to know you're going to throw something at me? Well, by this time, you could have figured it out. I gotta take a break. Cut the camera off. I need to turn it. Sorry. 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 Well, we had to take a break because that's what happens when you're doing projects. You got to take a break and take a breath <laughs> <laughs> when you're not feeling well, especially. So that's just honesty. Okay, so what we ended up doing was kind of mishmashing our hinges. It's not the best thing, but it's sealed. We'll put a couple latches on here and we'll be good to go. And ta-da, chicken grabbing a holder thing. And then we're on to the next project, which I think right now will be cutting this off and then we will probably start figuring out how to bend the metal around it I might need to put a 2 by 4 on this one to kind of come out yeah but I can do that so hey can I go to bed now I'm a anyway <laughs> <laughs> only thing is I'm not kidding anyway <laughs> all right I couldn't find my little one so I went with the big one <laughs> More power. And that is how you cut your metal very quickly. Right. Think, think, think. <laughs> and we'll go up and go to bed. 
Yes, we think that's a great idea. We all agree that's a great idea. I coffee. Yeah, that'd be great too. I need the measuring tape over there. It's on the table. Okay, so what I'm doing is because we had to remodel the front and the stripping on it just didn't fit anymore because you can see down here, I think, ah, sorry, there you go. You can see that down there it's just not fitting anymore because we had, that was the frame system, but you can see it all rotted, water rot. So my theory is, sorry. Our theory is we buy this metal stripping that goes on the roof, kind of the roof caps, you know? Uh, put it on like that as a protective device. That's our theory. I put some duct tape over it just because duct tape is a great thing to help seal things. And I'll probably put some foam in here too when, when I'm done. And it should seal it up nice and tight along the edges. Well, that's my theory. And I'm sticking to it. And I normally have gray duct tape, but apparently this is left over from my mom's move. And I don't know why my sister-in-law bought red tape, but she did. So, and since I can't find my traditional red, but gray duct tape. Okay, it's coming together. As uh, what's his name? Not Murdoch? No. Ace? Oh man, it's Murdoch. I'm pretty sure mate team. I love it when a plan comes together. Okay, that sounded more like that. Sounded more like Batman. I'm Batman. Which, by the way, is my favorite superhero. Because he's not a super. He's just a guy. He's not quite good, not quite bad. I kind of like that. Hey. I'm not quite good, but I want like that. No. I think. I don't know what I didn't hit it, but I got it in there. Hold it.
I wasn't joking that I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to have to peel those and pound those and I don't know what else I got to do with it. Dang it! <laughs> I don't understand what's happening here. This is a mess, but it's a chicken coop. Good enough. Okay. Now we take our tenderizer. That's going to drip rain right into it, but duct tape. And then we'll, I'm also going to use some of that foam, like I said. Uh, let me tell you something, people. Buy regular duct tape. This colored stuff is for the birds. For Real people, this is the real struggle of working on stuff. Not hiding the fact that it's tough. You know, as a baby, I'm thinking I might not want to do that. So, what you don't do is stand on the rolling cart that you sit on. But that's what I'm doing, ain't it? Oh. Well, that's it. I mean, that's the idea. Again, it's a chicken coop. We're going to paint it, but don't get too obsessed on perfectionists. I'd like it better, but I don't know what I'm doing. So maybe if I ever do this again, I'll have a better plan. Well, first, I know I'll have a better plan. Step one, buy an RV camper that literally don't have to rebuild the frame on. That's the first step I'll never do again. Second step is I'll probably never do it again. <laughs> Anyways, no, it's a lot of flies. Anyways, I get some foam, foam all that. We'll paint it. We'll be good to go. Okay, we are outside the camper day, I don't know, four and a half, four point two seven, I don't know. <laughs> I'm so tired at this point, I don't know. So what have we done today? When we started our video, we were showing you I was doing doors on the rolling egg boxes i was putting the metal on the outside and so and then we put the nest boxes together today so i'm going to show you what we're doing so this is our roll out nest boxes we put the hinges on put the doors on insulation as you see it works great there's an egg in there already pretty good yeah. <laughs> chickens love it um, then I put the metal on the seam out here and you can see I use that foamy stuff. I got to clean it up, but that foamy stuff seals it really nice from the wood, uh, wood, <laughs> seals the wood from the rain. Over here, we had to do a little bit more modification because I had to, it's right, oh, hold on. And so mom is putting curtains on the nest box. If you don't have a chicken homey touch. They don't lay eggs. That's not true. And <laughs> hold on. In fact, if they aren't like you know Joanna Gaines and you know oh, stop. made it all, we, we were going to use shiplap, but shut up. We decided to go with plywood. What part of shut up do you not understand? <laughs> 
I think mine's being rude. <laughs> stapler. Stapler. Just my stapler. You want my stapler? Oh. A movie reference, Mom. Don't know. Nope. But I don't. It's from the office. I don't watch shows. That's because you're a boring old person. Oh, I'm gonna sit down here and watch her put the chicken curtains up because. Now, I really don't know what I'm doing, so you can turn that off. No, we can all just learn together. Oh, no, we really don't. Yeah, she's got little flowery, says pretty. That's too big. It's too big. It's too big. It's too big. Can't have chickens too big. Oop, I didn't fill the hole there. I did some filling there. Kind of sealing a little bit of cracks. So this is actually a, it's got a roof in there to make a 12 by 12-ish nest box. You can see inside now that we've got our uh, feed bags we cut up. Kind of slow the egg down. I said that earlier. But we put some slash to hold it. We put a roof on it like right there. And then we put our angle so we don't have chickens pooping on themselves. And next we... Like they do right now. And what she's doing now is stapling her oh. curtains. Trying. Theoretically. <laughs> Oi. Oi. So, and then we're going to put our roosts in, get a few more metal strips, and we will be chicken fied. Chicken fied? Chicken fied. Chicken coop fied? Chicken, chicken coop. I don't know what you're talking well, about. Well, barring the painting, because mom's got to paint it, because she's an Speaking artist. Speaking of which, I just looked that up. Mom just looked up what? Painting? Temperature. Temperature. For painting? Uh huh. The most ideal time of uh, temperature uh -huh. is actually today, tomorrow, and the next day. Well, then mom's going to be painting tomorrow while I watch football. Because <laughs> dad's tired. Now I'm curious how the chicken's going to get in there. <laughs> I'm making it kind of, um, you know, bunching a little bit so it's got give. You think they'll crawl under that? Yeah. I don't think they're wrong under that. I think you're going to have to put a slit in it. Yeah, I suppose I could do that. That'd be a lot easier than my crumpling. I'm a, I'm a slitter. She's a crumpler, I guess. <laughs> that makes a lot more sense, actually. I got that on record. <laughs> she said, my idea made a lot more sense. We got it on record. Yes. See? I got it on record. No. And all the world can hear it and see that it's true. Ooh, pretty. Oh, pretty. Are you quite done? Well, I don't know. You're the one making it pretty. Actually, I am quite done, to be honest with you. I'm, I'm pretty oh, much... I left my scissors out there. I'm pretty much wiped out, yeah. Go, go get the scissors. Uh-uh. Please. I love her. I don't love her that much. Mom's going to bring a chicken in. I don't know why. I guess the chicken will have to learn to deal with it. So I'm sitting here trying to get up the energy to move. And she's got the energy to go touch the chicken. So we will see. There's our curtain. There's our chicken boxes. This RV has been a journey. A tiring journey that of course it didn't help when you get a cold sucks your energy out but we are doing it now the question is we don't know yet is how to put the roost in here <laughs> I got I'm thinking about hinges so I can tip them up and that way I can scrape it all out and I need to change the bedding but I'm not sure I need hinges I need some wood we're gonna use that flex seal it actually does work okay Gonna get some sealant and seal the edges of the top of the camper. We got roost, roofs, and ramp. I think by the end of Tuesday we should have our chicken camper in place. Wish us luck. <laughs>